Hello you all, welcome back to another video. My name is Ray Sean. For those of you who don't know me, people call me Ray. So in this video, I will be doing this makeup tutorial right here. This is a super cute um, makeup look. Super cute, like, you know, like an everyday makeup. This is just what I normally typically do when I'm getting dressed. So um, if you wanna see how I got this look, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure that you click the notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload a video. And let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Using the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer. This is it right here. This primer is really good. I really like it because it definitely gives me a smooth base for my foundation to come on a lot smoother. I like this primer. I did use it a couple of times already. For my foundation, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Skin Finish Buildable Coverage Foundation. This is how it looks. This is the stick foundation. I like this foundation. It's super duper nice. This is like my third time using it, I believe. All my Huda foundations are in the shade Hot Fudge, so it was easy for me to pick out what shade I was, you know? I'm just gonna use my damp sponge. This is the Beauty Bakery sponge. This foundation gives such a nice skin finish. Um, it's super lightweight in my opinion and it is long lasting. So next I will be taking my Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer. This one is in the shade Pecan. I don't know where my Java Deep 2 concealer is at right now, so I'll be using this. I've been wanting to film a video. I just haven't had the time to sit down and do it because like I said, it was a lot going on. But now since I got a little bit of time today, I'm doing this video for you guys. So now I'm going to be taking my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Ebony and Espresso. I'm going to be taking these two and I'm going to use them to contour and bronze up my face. The difference between a contour and a bronzer. The bronzer is to add like, kind of like shadow and then the contour is to add more shape. I hope that makes sense. This is literally what I do every day when I am doing my makeup. Not every day, but when I'm doing my makeup, this is like literally what I do. Nothing new here. So what have you guys been up to? Let me know down in the comments what you've been doing this week. I've just been trying to stay strong, not giving up on the things that I know I want to accomplish and trying to accomplish those. I'm not gonna say try, I am accomplishing those, period. If I could give some advice to someone who is listening, I would say, um, just keep going with your dream. Just keep doing it. You know, whatever you whatever you put your mind to, you can do. I have some other things in work that I wanna do before this year is up, and I'm gonna do it. Whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. You can do it. If you see other people doing it, then that means that you can do it too. That just means that it's not impossible for you to do. You can do it as well. There's nothing new under the sun. Everybody's gonna do something that someone else has already done. So you don't have to worry about, oh, she's copying, you know, oh, am I copying because I'm doing this? Nothing is new under the sun. I'm pretty sure I'm, I know I'm doing something that other people have done. Except for this time, it's just, you know, with my name on it. Whether that's starting a business, going back to school. Um, it doesn't really matter what it is. It's never too late to do what it is that you want to do. I know we put things off for so long, we kind of procrastinate all of the time. There is a time whereby we do have to wait. Some things do require waiting. We can't just rush and do something if 
the finances are not there or if it's not the right time to do it or you're not in a place right now to do it even if the finances are there so there's a, it's okay to wait until the, the right time comes so that you're not doing things prematurely if that makes sense so just make sure that you know whatever you do is what you want to do and that you're not doing it because someone else is doing it because if you're working like that or if you're going to start a business or start doing something like that then you're not going to really go too far because your heart not going to be in it so you're not going to wake up all hours of the morning and stand up all hours of the night I know when something is a passion of mine or when, or when it's something that I really, really want to do or really, really need to do because um, it's something I think about all the time. I, I'm just talking about this is like for real deal, real deal people who have real passions and desires to do something in life. That's how you know that you're supposed to be doing that thing, period. Ain't no, am I supposed to be doing it? Should I do it? Woo -woo. There is no if, ands, or buts about it, sis, because... You're supposed to be doing it. You're crying about it. You can't sleep. You can't eat. When you see somebody else do it, like, you're not upset, but it's just like, you know, if they can do it, I know I can do it. Like, I just know I can do it. This means that this is your passion. You need to hop on it ASAP. You need to hop on it ASAP. And I say that because it's no way that you're not going to achieve it because you want it too bad to not be able to achieve that thing or that goal in life. It's impossible because you want it too bad. It's the truth. It is the truth. And sometimes in life, you might be in one place in your life and you might be like, well, this is not for me right now because this is where I am right now. So I guess this is just where I'm supposed to be. Sometimes we can be at a place for so long that when it's time for us to leave, we don't leave. And so when you don't leave something, you get super uncomfortable. Like you will become so uncomfortable to the point where though um, you probably end up missing days and you just don't have a desire, you don't have a passion for it. Um, you could really care less. I mean, you're just doing it for, you know, for the people, but you could really care less. You don't care for it, you don't wanna be there. Um, it's not something that you think about. You're thinking about something else. That's how you know your time is up. You're getting frustrated people are frustrating you um and but you're there because you might not know how to leave or how to let it go you might say well now is not the time because i don't have anything else right now to you know um help me you know whatever whatever the case may be you might not have another job or you might not have another means whereby you can just let this go you know already or so soon but sometimes, sometimes, not everybody, okay? <laughs> sometimes, and I'm only speaking to the people who have, who have that, that's literally your desire. Like, I'm not talking about you go to every job and you just don't want to be there. No, I'm not talking about those who are at a certain place in their life and they know that their time is up. You know it's time for you to leave. You know it's um, that the desire, the passion is gone. You know that the, the wick has burnt down, okay? There's no more oil left for this candle. There's no more oil left for this thing. It's just time to give it up. The light is gone. It's burnt out. That means it's time for you to go. You need to start whatever it is that you're going to start because you're going to be uncomfortable until you let it go or that thing is going to push you out of there. And then you're going to be mad because you got pushed out of there. But sometimes God uses, God makes you uncomfortable in certain situations because he wants you to be at your best and right now you're not at your best so sometimes he will use situations to push you out because you you won't let it go so he will have you he'll, he will cause certain things he will cause certain scenarios in your life to happen so that you can get out of what you're in because you won't necessarily let it go by yourself i've been in that situation a few times like literally a few times and the last situation that um, I was in, actually, uh, I was let go from, I was actually let go from my job and for, you know, one reason or the other, but I was let go from my job. I stopped working there 
and actually I had a desire to work there for quite some time and then actually move up to another company and just like move up and move on so on and so forth for so I knew it kind of you know what I wanted to do but God always know the means to an end the Bible says a man plans his ways but the Lord directs his steps so we can plan out what we want to do we can and that's okay to plan it out what you want to do, make your goals, write them down, what you want to do, because you have a plan and you always need to have a plan so, you can, so that you can know what you're going to do in life. So that when somebody asks you something, you're not saying, well, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. You need to know what you're going to do. The Bible says also without vision, the people perish. So you need to have a vision as to what you're going to do. You have to have a plan as to what you're going to do. But sometimes God does intercept. He comes right in it and he might redirect, you know what I mean? Or orchestrate how everything else is going to go and not that he's going to take you off the path that you was on you know or the things that you want to do not that he's going to take you off the path because mind you he does he sees great and he does greater so when you ask he he over exceeds he do immeasurably more when he does step in understand that that something good is about to happen because i always say this he never takes something away and then you receive less than what you had before Never. It does not happen unless, unless, unless you might be in the wrong place or you need to, you know, get in line. Other than that, whatever he do, he always, it, it's always greater. It's not never less. Nothing decreases. It's always more. It's hard for us to receive a closed door, but when the door closed, receive it. Because once that door closed, understand a new door it has opened and you just have to realize or see what it is that he has for me. You gotta ask, okay, well, what do you, what do you want me to do? So for my blush, I did end up using the Rare Beauty blush. This one is in a shade called Faith. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. I love this blush. And then I also used um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder. This one is in Vanilla to set my concealed areas. Okay. So now I'm going to be taking my Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Airbrush Powder. This one is in the shade number four to just set the rest of my makeup. So you have to figure out what I need to be doing and um, how is this going to benefit me. And sometimes whenever he does something, he's going to provide for you. He's not going to have you do something or start something and then or give you an idea, better yet, and then not give you the means to be able to do what it is that he wants you to do or give or the desires of your heart. He wants you to be able to do those things for his glory. So um, you might say, what do you mean for his glory? Like, just like what I'm doing right now, I'm talking to you guys and giving you some advice, but yet, you know, I can't honestly talk at all without bringing him up. So I have to bring him up because he's always a part of my dialect, um, a part of my conversations. Another door will always open. You just have to wait and see. That's how it goes. That's just like, like I said, for me, um, I'm not working at the job I do. I was working at anymore. I'm doing makeup on my own. I'm a freelance makeup artist now, so I have my I'm my own boss basically. I also sell my own cosmetics. I'm like really getting into it. I do have a website. Um, I do have my domain. So all of that stuff is in place. Um, everything is in place. Everything is in place so far. So so far so good. You know, I'm just learning how to be a boss as far as learning how to do everything because I'm my own manager. So I do my, I'm my own manager, my own production team. I'm my own everything, my own videographer, photographer, everything. I make all the decisions right now because I am a small business. I'm a small, everything is small. Everything is little, you know. But the Bible says that when you are faithful in the small things, he'll bless you with more. So you got to be faithful with what he gives you. Be faithful and just keep working on it. Just keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. And then you will see the fruits of your labor. Don't just give up so fast and just say, you know, because many times I wanted to give up on my business too. Well, makeup and lip gloss because 
I felt like this thing is not going nowhere. Like, I don't know what's going on. It's not going nowhere. And then next thing you know, my makeup business just picked up. And then I started doing lip gloss and that's going okay. Um, I know that my makeup business is really picking up. <laughs> so my lip gloss, I know that that's coming. It's, everything is here, but this, as far as like my sales come, I'm getting sales, but I'm not at the goal that I want to be at as far as my sales are concerned, but I know that it's coming. I know it's coming, so I'm not worried. You just have to walk by faith. You gotta walk by faith. You can't just give up and say, this is not gonna work for me because nothing was going good when I lost my job. Like at first, nothing. I was just like, what is going on? This is just not working. Like nothing was really going the way I wanted it to go. And I wasn't too, 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 too upset about it. I just had to have faith and just believe that everything was gonna work out. Because it, it, you, you have to come to a point where you stop worrying and start having faith in the one who holds the world in his hand, who, the one who owns a thousand cattle on a hill. You understand what I'm saying? You gotta put your faith in the one who, you know, set up kings and, and set down kings. You know what I'm saying? The one who created heaven and earth, the one who gives the power to people to bless you. You, you just gotta wait. You gotta be patient. Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. It is a fruit of the spirit, okay? So we have to have that. My blush, I'm going to be using a Sephora Trio Face Palette. This is it right here. I'm going to be taking this, this deeper plum looking blush on the inside here. I need to go to Sephora so bad because I want, I need to go to Sephora and Ulta, probably Ulta. I want the Jaclyn Hill Blush Palette. I want the Jaclyn Hill Blush Palette. I want some Juvia's Place. Um, con like bronzers, uh, what else? And do something real quick. Okay, real quick on these eyeballs. My neighbors are talking so loud. I don't know what's going on. They are talking loud. But anyways, yeah. You just have to keep going. You gotta keep believing in yourself. Keep praying. Pray over your business and your ideas. Keep, you know what I'm saying? Like educating yourself too on a lot of things that you wanna do because we have everything at our disposal. We have Google, we have Instagram, we have YouTube. So we have everything at our disposal to learn what it is that we need to learn. You know what I'm saying? We have all the tools. So. For the most part, most of us do have all of the tools, so we can learn it. There's nothing that cannot be learned. Nothing. Anything can be learned. I'm gonna take this Morphe bronzer and I'm just gonna put some in my crease. Cause I don't think I'm gonna do too much to my um, eyes today. Just to kind of get my, contour my eyes up a little bit. Right before, you know, I um, left my job, I I had got everything that I needed to learn, I learned it within that, within that span of me being at my job, I learned it. So it was like, I, I knew everything I needed to know as far as like my career, as far as like using it to better myself and better my career, everything I needed to know, I got it from my last job. So moving forward, um, I just took that and I, I just took that and ran with it. Basically, I just used my knowledge and my skills and what I've learned and what I had, you know, what I have been taught. I just used it to better myself. You know, everything I needed, everything I needed to move me forward, I got it. If you feel like that you need to still be growing, if you feel like that, you know, well, now it's not the time because you still are learning, then you're going to stay there for a while until you learn. You're going to stay there. You're not going to leave prematurely. I'm just using my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and putting it as my eyeshadow.
So for my lips, I'm going to be using the Jordana Dark Brown Liner for my lips. Sorry, you guys, if I was not talking, you know, about the makeup products that I use, but I will leave everything down in the description box below because I be talking sometimes and I get ahead of myself. So I'm going to be taking this NYX Lip Lingerie. This is a gloss and this one is in the shade called Mason. I'm going to be using this as my base color. And then for my top color, I'm going to be using my gloss from Oray Beauty to top off this. It smells so good. Make sure you shop oraybeauty.com. Um, right now I am having free shipping so you can buy any product you want and you don't have to pay for shipping because I'm having free sh US shipping so make sure you take advantage of it because it's going to be ending super soon you can buy whatever products on my website but you will get free shipping so once you um, check out please use the code free ship that's free f-r-e-e -E, ship s-h-i-p-p -P at checkout and it's going to basically deduct your shipping costs and you're just going to pay for your items so make sure you go ahead and shop oraybeauty.com i will leave my website down in the description box so you guys can check out my lip gloss my lashes and everything else in between and make sure that you guys are following me on my social media which is my instagram at o underscore ray beauty and then my i have like three instagrams so that's the main one that i post on and I have a client one. So this basically is a finished look. Let me just get myself together. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and this little pep talk because I feel like everybody needs a good pep talk. I'm up on the video and typically I'll be kind of like in the bed and that's one thing when it comes to working for yourself or being an entrepreneur is that you have to get yourself up out of bed on time. You gotta be consistent. You can't do things when you feel like it. Um, because people are looking for your consistency. Heck, I'm looking for myself to be consistent. You know what I'm saying? Because consistency will get you so far and you have to be reliable, dependable, and you got to be a person of integrity. So, yeah. Um, this is the end of the video. Um, so yeah, this is the makeup look. Let me know what you guys liked about this makeup tutorial. I will be leaving everything I use down in the description box. So yeah, you don't have to ask me what I use. I'm going to leave it down below. Um, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and then subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed and yeah I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye